I've written some topics that I would like to speak about with all of you who are watching. I am fixing my hair because I just recorded a video with this hat on and no fuck man, I don't care. I don't care. John the Baptist was wearing camel's hair, bro, while preaching. The son of man is coming, repent. Okay? Repent. Video topics I've written for this video. Yeah, it's just short, you know. But we're gonna go very deep into this. Very deep into this. Re so first one, relationship hurting your connection with God. And yes, I mean relationship with a woman. And maybe this doesn't apply to women because bro, men do not hurt women the same way that women hurt men. Okay, that's not true. Let me not be biased. I'm a man, I'm not a woman, so I can't say that, okay? But listen, maybe it does apply for women, maybe it doesn't. We'll see. We'll see if you guys see it, yeah? Relationship hurting your connection with God. How could you choose a woman that God has created over God himself? Because listen, I'm speaking to myself here, bro. I am. My girlfriend is a good church goer. You know, we've been sinning, fornicating. We used to pray over it. Now we don't. This is confession now. And she knows I'm fasting. I'm going into a three-day water fast. This is an empty sucker. You get me, brev. I'm literally one day in about you get me a few hours i went on a jog so i'm really knackered but the joy of the lord is our strength he said do stuff when you're fasting don't lay in bed so that's what exactly what i'm doing i'm coming here and i think i'm filled with the holy spirit that's why i seem off i've never done this on here on this channel ever uh, this night i've just decided to get up and start and i don't know all glory to god i hope this changes some someone or something you get me for real god is good but as I was saying, my girlfriend knows I'm doing this fast. That's why I was talking about that. She knows I'm doing this fast. She came from work and she's arguing with me out of nowhere. And she never does this. She's a sweet girl. She is a sweet girl. There's no need to do this, you know? So she's arguing with me while I'm fasting. And I'm thinking she knows I'm fa And I've done this to her as well. That's another confession. I've argued with her while she's fasting. But I constantly say, I know you're fasting, so I'm going to back up. I'm going to get some distance. I'm going to try and chill for you. She did not do that for me, bro. She has tried to ruin my fast. She's trying to get a reaction. She told me she's going to break up with me. She told me because she's tired from work. She told me I'm doing nothing with my life. I got hired the other day, a week ago. I got hired for a job. So I was going to go in. I actually put the work in, CVs, applications. I got hired and then my phone got stolen. So now I don't have the job because they called me and my fucking phone was in some black guy's house. So am I doing nothing? And yes, this is ventilation plus confession. But bro, How's that? How can you tell me I'm doing nothing with my... Okay, now it's affecting my fast. This is an example, see? This is an example. You see how I just... Bro, I'm meant to be explaining around this, not in this. Bro. Okay. So she's really trying to affect my fast, saying things like that. But I was explaining, she knows that I'm not a bum, but she tried to call me a bum. You get me? I've just started fasting, stopped smoking cigarettes, and the demons in her, this is the point that's coming, the demons in her are trying to take me from God. That is why your relationship is hurting your connection with God. Your girlfriend, slash boyfriend, anything, you know, even one, girls and men. I'm not saying trans, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you either have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, whoever's watching this. They don't know that they're trying to take you from God. This is a Christian girl. My girlfriend is a Christian. She goes to church every Sunday. That doesn't mean she's a good Christian, but it means that she's a Christian. She believes she has the faith. She knows Christ rose. And she's still attacking my fasting badly. Badly. If I fall from this fast, I will fall deep into sin. Deep. This fast is all I have right now, and my brethren, I'm doing a fast with them. It's three days, no eating for three days. Just water, no food in my body for three days. She's trying to take me from this. Three is the God number, bro. It is the God number. There's energy that the demons do not want me to get into along with my brethren. They want me to break covenant. If I drop out the fast, then my brothers will too. Even if they carry on to the third day. If I drop out, that's going to affect them and their spirits and our council. We call it the council because there's three of us. Three of us doing a three-day fast. This shit real. You get me? She's trying to take me from the fast. 
Because the demons want me not to fast. She wants me to die in hell. She, no. See, this is a good time to bring up a, a Christ quote. Do not hate the sinner, but hate the sin. A lie? Bro, I don't hate her. I love her. Why do you think I'm with her? But I'm explaining this. You get me correctly. I'm explaining it morally, you know? Like, the demons, you know, want me to die in hell. Not she. I said she wants me to die in hell. I take that back. God forgives me because I don't know. I don't know what she's feeling 100%. I'm not in her head, but God is. You get me? And God loves her. So I'm not going to say she wants it, she wants that, so that I can carry it with me. But understand, and you guys do this too. Do this, do this. If, you know, someone's hurting you, if someone's against you, hate the sin and not the sinner. Because it helps. Because now I don't have to carry hate for her, do I? I can carry on with my day. I don't have to carry any hate. Like, even if she is hurting me, saying horrible things about me, being disgusting to me, I don't have to care. Hate the sin and not the sinner. I love her. You get me? And you should love every brother and sister. So you can't be like, this guy's crazy. Why does he love his girlfriend when she's calling him a bum? Bro, I love every fucking person. I love the guy that robbed my phone. You get me? Like, bro, I have to. I have to. Because if I didn't get my phone robbed, I wouldn't be here right now making this video. Which is true. Which is why God is good, bro. God is fucking good, bro. Seriously, bro. This is just the first topic. Seriously. Seriously, and now that leads right into the second one. I didn't plan to say this because bro, where's the script? I have two points God the Holy Spirit is making these videos confirmed because I was just saying if I didn't get my phone robbed Then I wouldn't be making this video second topic Choosing the phone over God false light Pixels pixels of light fake light fake light do you understand it's fake the light bringer lucifer brings fake light that's what his name means lucifer the light bringer is lucifer the creator of light who is who did god did you get me bro god created light god is light lucifer's the light bringer does does lucifer bring you to god actually yes Actually, yes, because bro, when I was an atheist, I was seeing all this satanic shit in the music that made me go straight to God. So yes, Lucifer technically is the light bringer. He will bring you to God, but that's not what he wants to do. He wants to bring you to hell. He wants you to see orange light, bro. He wants you to fucking burn. But God takes the glory. You get me? He takes all of the glory and you go straight to him up there. You're suffering. You're suffering. I said this in the last video. It might not be posted, but I said, bro, I literally said, uh, don't lose track. Don't distract me, Satan. God, bring it back to my head. I literally have no script, bro. I've been recording for eight minutes. Oh, my gosh. Fake light, light bringer, fake light. He sends you straight up back to it. When you're suffering, when you are suffering, when you're suffering, it can either make or break you. Obviously, this is true. This is basic, like, year eight quotes. You get me? Eighth grade, wherever you are. All right? Like, but it's true and it's biblical and it's facts. If you fall to sin, say I came out of my fast, like I was talking about. If I fall out of my fast, I'm going to fall into hell. I will fall deep into sin. I'm going to be smoking 30 cigarettes a day. I'm going to be smoking weed, drinking alcohol. I will. But that's not what I want. The Holy Spirit has me here and I'm not go and it's good that I'm naming these things. I'm naming my habits because I don't want to go back to that. I don't. Even if my flesh wants me to, I'm happy here, bro. I'm happy here. See if it can make or break me. You get me? That's what I'm saying. That's break. Make is even if you fall into sin, if you come back from that, your spirit will be stronger next time. It will. It will. And it's not a bunch of bullshit. They will say, fall into sin. God will bring you back. It will be okay. I understand, bro. I understand. But it's not that simple. Don't just fall into sin and expect God to bring you back. Because that's not how it works, bro. If you fall into sin and actually repent, this is where the word comes. Repent. Serious big words. When you repent, your soul is rebuilt stronger than it was before. It's true. It's true. That's what sanctification is. It is day by day getting stronger and stronger in the name of God. All glory to God for our strength that we gain day by day. That is what sanctification is. Don't you? And as I said, the second topic is don't choose the phone over God. 
Stop scrolling on TikTok, bro. Stop scrolling on YouTube. Read the Bible. Start reading. Like, seriously. Bro, that's what the light... Like, it's fake light. It's fake light. Literally, the apple is on the back of the phone, bro. Like, we all know this. It's literally the apple of Eden. Like, you really think that's not idolization, bro? Of course it is, bro. Like, let's be so... I have two phones, so I look like a hypocrite now. But I only have these phones out because I have no internet, no money. I've been starving. My phone got robbed last week. So now I'm fucking happy to have my two phones, okay? I'm happy. And I'm making this video, and I'm happy. And I'm happy for you for watching. And if you're here now, I'm glad. You know, I'm glad. And I pray I see you in heaven. I pray I see you in heaven. I said in the last video, God made us immortal. Understand what he gave us. Do you know what it means to be immortal and not have existed at one point? Do you know what that means? You don't. But that's what you are. We don't die. You're either going to burn in hell forever, or you're going to see my face in heaven. You get me? That's a bit egotistical of me to say. I take that back. No, I don't. God saved me, and he's got me here right now for a reason, bro. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, for real. Aye. God bless.